guess what time it is? It is time for another Tiny Dreamer mini review. This time it is going to be of the kitchen. It's not going to be so mini. Maybe it'll be like medium because there's a lot to show in the kitchen and I'm going to be opening some cabinets and stuff like that. You're going to get to see things that I use, my little review of them, and if I would or wouldn't use them or not. Basically, you're going to get another mini tour of my kitchen. So let's get started on this video. We are going to start with my cat station place where they eat. That little mini vac works well for me. The only thing it does not work well for is cleaning this rug. So basically, I need a bigger stick vacuum for that rug, but today I actually cleaned it with that. Um, thing right there because my stick vacuum doesn't work. That's a perfect little spot for that. It always stays plugged in and it's uh, sitting on the little wheel well right there. So this cat carrier, I believe I got at like PetSmart or something. These bowls, I think I got them at Kohl's, but I got them as an extra set of bowls for like guests. But because I don't use those for guests too much, I decided to use them for the cat's food. This rug, I really love this rug. It's very long and it goes the entire length of the kitchen so whenever I'm standing there I can stand on the rug instead of the cold floor. I got that on Amazon and you will find the link in the description below. We have this, it holds fruits and vegetables and whatever, but I decided to get a, like two tiers because when you're in a tiny house, it's a good thing to build up because all this space right here has no, has nothing in it. I love that little thing. The bottom usually holds my fruits and avocados and stuff. Top usually holds my onions, garlic, a couple snacks and stuff like that. Moving to the toaster, I use this bad boy for a lot of stuff for a lot of my meals. Um, so I have waffles and bagels and then I make avocado toast. I actually like it, it's pretty simple. I wanted a white one so it matched the farmhouse. I tried to do away with all stainless steel. But they didn't have one so I kind of had to deal with it. Hey look, there's Solomon Stink. There he is. What up, Stink? That's Solomon Stink. My cats were eating him, and I saved them. Instead of putting them outside in the freezing cold, I made them a little home here in this ball jar, and I put the stuff that he likes to eat most, apples and plants, and then I have some sticks that he can crawl on. He's actually eating right now. If you can see, he's got his that little, oops, that little snout right there sticking in the apple that he sucks up. Moving on, we've got my knife holder. When I went tiny, I did have a different knife holder in my other apartment, but it was about 14 years old, and I decided new house, all new stuff. This, um, is from Amazon. It's Food Network. It's got tons of different things. I love the fact that they come with scissors. Um, I use these all the time and then for specialty cooking I'll use these things. Now to my can opener. I have always purchased can openers that took off the... it cut into the inner lid. This can opener actually locks down onto the can and it actually takes off the entire top of the can so it leaves no ridges or marks. This is easy to push down and then that grabs it and then just takes it away. My other ones, I've had handheld ones, I've had other, you know, electrical ones and it, they just did not work for me because they'd get stuck. The strength in my arm to try to open the can wasn't strong enough and then I discovered this. Um, type of can opener where it takes off the entire top of the lid and I much prefer this one over any of the other ones. Next we're gonna go to my little speaker. I realized that le uh, living in a campground and riding on golf carts and stuff everybody has these little speakers where they can carry music with them and I thought it was such a great idea. My radio in my car works, but I don't listen to the radio, so I plug this thing in down here in my car on my golf cart, and then I'm able to put on Pandora or plug in my iPod. Got that on Amazon too, it's pretty cool. Um, if I turn it on, I could always pair it with Bluetooth. And it lights up. 
it's called the DOS box or the DOS sound box. Utensil holder right here. I got this at Goodwill for about a dollar or two. It was teal, so it matched my house, so I decided to bring it in. These utensils that I bought, I bought in a kit of, I think it was a kit of 10. I got those on Amazon as well. A couple of them came with the hook set from Rachel Ray. So that's these two right here. So this is the set that comes. It's a, got a couple different spoons, slotted spoons, a ladle, scrapers, uh, kind of a scraper with kind of a little spoon there, a whisk, two spatulas, another scraper thing, and like a brush. I bought this as a set, and the things that I've used are spatulas, that thing, that thing, that. I've used all of these. I have not used the whisk yet and I have not used the brush or these two yet. For the most part, I use all of them, and then I also have extra room in that container to put extra stuff in. I realized that this thing was a lot easier and it saved a lot of space. Again, you have this one little container and everything is coming out of it vertically rather than laying down in a, a drawer. This little doodad, I think I got it Goodwill, and again, I tried building up. I did have that in my old apartment, so I can't really give you a link in the description for that. So my sister gave me this thing right here. They're live moss balls. I do not know where she got it, but if I find out and uh, any of you ask about it, I will put the link in the description or in the comments. The salt and pepper shakers. I got these on Amazon as well. I absolutely love them. I use Himalayan salt mostly, and then sometimes I'll use sea salt, but I prefer to use the Himalayan salt. I like these a lot because they grind out fresh salt and pepper. So as you can see, there's the granules in there. And then when you take off this top, you turn it upside down and you grind it. Same with the salt. You turn it upside down and you just twist this thing and grind it. So my sink is right here. And so it's not a double sink. I don't have anything to put over it and I don't have much room on either side to put a huge drying rack. So I bought this cute little drying rack that fits right there in that section. I do my dishes as I go. If I didn't do my dishes as I went, then this whole sink would be filled with dishes and this little rack would be overfilled with dishes. So I do my dishes as I go and put them away as I go. There's this little holder back here and it's got these where you can hold plates, bowls, pans, anything like that. This is washable. I do wash it about once a month because it does get a little dirty. I don't mind leaving it out even when there's no dishes in it. Here's my electric cooktop burner. I use this and cook on this all the time. I would definitely recommend one of these for your tiny house. If you have drawers, you can always put that thing away when you're not using it to um, gain more uh, counter space. My cabinets are filled with other stuff so I don't want to have to put it away when I'm not using it. Up on this counter is this little cutie right there. I have honestly never used that yet because I have been getting my water from the hot section right there from the Primo water cooler. Completely matches my house. I think it looks great there and whenever I have guests or I'm sick or something like that maybe I'll put some water in there and you know, make a whole pot of tea rather than cup after cup after cup. I will put the link in the description below on where I got these three items uh, if you're interested in purchasing them. Because I have that electric cooktop, I wanted to purchase a hood range to go over it so that it could vent it out. It works very well. Let me turn it on right now. There's a high setting and a low setting. I'm in a small space, so smoke and the steam is gonna go, you know, where it's gonna go. And if you notice, my fire alarm is, is right there. It is very close to where the steam could rise and set that off. I decided to get this and this has worked perfectly. My fire alarm has never gone off because this actually works very well. When designing the house, this used to be right there and that was not there. When they tried to put this underneath one of these, it only left a little bit of room. It, was, it came down here so that a pan wouldn't even be able to fit in this space right here if you put it on that electric cooktop. What they did was uh, they made me a smaller one of those, 
put that under there so that it raised the height and then they gave me the cabinet and put it over here because I still needed all of that storage. The first one that I got from Amazon was dented so I had to return it. So if you do purchase it, just look out for, I don't know, damage, dents, and uh, be cognizant of the, the space that you have wherever you're gonna put it because that thing is, it's about a good five inches. As I showed you earlier, I have four of these bowls and two of them are down there by the cat station. I also got four plates. This cup I randomly found at Walmart and then this little doodad right there was teal, so I thought, why not get that as a tea thing? I ended up purchasing these things right here. They are, they're expensive. So I paid $400 for a set of whatever. Here is what the place settings look like. I purchased eight of these uh, cool looking teal placemats at Walmart. And then I bought these, they're made in England, but they're, they're really cool. They match everything in my house, of course. The cups, the coffee cups, look, they're all hand painted. This it's just really beautiful. I have not been able to use this play setting. I have not had consistent guests where I would cook a meal for them. I really like these. I really love how they match the whole house. You can find the link to these things in the description below. This right here, I purchased as a set of like three or four. And again, I built vertically so that because that that area didn't have anything in it. So I was able to put a shelf there and then it's like a basket and then you're able to fill the basket. This is the area underneath my sink. It's kind of a bit messy. There is a lot of room. Back there's the wheel well, so I have stuff sitting on the wheel well. Again, building vertically. There's Rocky. One of the main things I wanna show you is this set of dishes right there, or the Rachel Ray set of dishes. I like them because they're Teflon, so they're non-stick. I like them because they're teal because they match my house and I like them because they're easy to use. That happens a lot and it actually started happening the first day that I got them. So on the reviews, um, a lot of people were not buying them. But on the other hand, it's Teflon and it, it, it still works for me. So you can find the link to these things in the description below. Right Rox? When I open my silverware drawer, um, I purchased a bamboo silverware sorter from Walmart, I believe. This set, another teal set, I think I got that at Walmart. I got this set at Walmart, and that's it for that drawer. Um, this is the drawer that I was telling you that has the other utensils. Um, I was thinking about getting one of those racks to fit on the inside of here, like that to hold those, but I decided not to because I was getting four of these drawers that pulled out. So I figured put them in here and I've got my garbage bags right there, a hot plate, which you must definitely use if you're going to have certain kinds of wood in your house. This, I had set a pan on and I had burned it and it looked like a, a big brown ring. I kind of tried to stain over it. On this side, we are going to talk about my paper towel holder. I decided to get one that is like this, again, to, to build vertically. It's rustic, so it's just a, a pipe looking thing. You yeah. can put that on and they stay out of the way. They're easy to grab. I would recommend that thing very much, especially if you wanna put it on a side cabinet. Got this confection oven to replace a microwave. I did not want a microwave. I do not want the harmful energies that microwaves emit. I do not like the way that microwaves take away nutrients from food. So I decided to get a convection oven. So far so good. I love how it, it heats up and warms up food. I got a nine cubic foot refrigerator. However, I would not recommend it. So this shelf's fine, this shelf's fine. This shelf's okay until you look back here. See that hump right there? This goes up into this curve, so nothing can sit on this curve. I would not recommend this refrigerator just because of that stupid little shelf. I decided to put it against, um, instead of 
putting it on the wall. It was supposed to go right here, but there was kind of no room for two of them. And then the heat from the electric cooktop would have been, you know, getting into the spices and stuff. And I didn't want that. So I found this area above my fridge and I bought these two racks. There's two of them. And then I actually put, I drilled it in just the top one. I really like that. Uh, the first one I bought, it was a four tier one, and that definitely was not gonna fit there where, where I wanted to put it, so I decided to get two and put them side by side. They're easy to use, and it's chicken wire, which matches the rustic farmhouse of my, the theme of my tiny house. That was my kitchen. You guys have probably seen it before in my, a couple of my video tours. You can find the links below in the description. If you guys liked this video and you like my channel, please subscribe below and hit that notification bell so you can receive all my videos. If you guys want to leave me comments below to tell me how you guys, if you guys have any of these things and if you have a different opinion on them, please do so. And I will see you guys in the next video. What's up, Rocky? Hey, Rocky, want to come out here now? Come on. Don't you fuss! Um. He is a crazy cat. What are you doing?